Welcome to the 1099 ETC program. This tutorial covers e filing the 1099 NEC forms through e file direct. The IRS recently released final regulations amending the filing rules for W 2 and 1099 returns and other documents. See the IRS e file regulations for more information. The e file threshold has officially been lowered from 250 to 10 forms in tax year 2023 to be filed in 2024. This regulation includes the total for all aggregated forms. This creates a file using the 1099 NEC data that has been entered. Once the file is created, it is the user's responsibility to upload the file using the IRS buyer system. A transmitter control code is required from the IRS prior to using eFile Direct. Review IRS Publication 1224 Additional Information What is the transmitter control code? All transmitters who file information returns electronically are required to request authorization to file electronically using the IRS buyer system. New users that are electronically transmitting information returns to the IRS must apply for transmitter control codes using the information returns application located on the FIRE webpage. Allow 45 days for processing. The IRS recommends that you apply for the transmitter control code by November 1st. The transmitter control code will not be issued by telephone or email. When your application is approved and completed, a 5-character alphanumeric transmitter control code will be assigned to your business. An approval letter will be sent via United States Postal Service to the address listed on the information returns application for the transmitter control code. You can also view your transmitter control code on the information returns application for transmitter control code summary page. The TCC will take 48 hours to be ready for use on fire. Please review Publication 1220 on the IRS website for more information. Once the transmitter control code has been received you can begin using eFile Direct. At this point, the payer ABC has been created. And the 1099 form data has been entered. This is the main menu. Select the eFiler. This is the eFiler menu. Select eFile Direct. Now click OK. Click the drop down arrow in the type of form section and select the 1099 family of forms. The taxing authority for 1099s will always be federal. It does not need to be changed. To continue, click OK. This is the transmitter screen. Select the transmittal type. In the example, it will be original file sent to the IRS. Please refer to the help files for information on the other transmittal types. Fill out the transmitter information, including the transmitter control code. If you are not an optional transfer agent, leave that section blank. Click OK to continue. Next, select the forms that are to be included in the file. Multiple forms can be selected. However you must know which payer has actual form data for selected forms. For the tutorial, select the 1099 NEC form. And then click OK. Next check the payers that are to be included in the e-file. Multiple payers can be selected. For the tutorial, select ABC Payroll. Once all payers are selected, click OK to continue. Global Questions Refer to the IRS's Combined Federal State Filer Program, as well as, the Payer Name Control. What is a Combined Federal State Filer? The Combined Federal State Filing Program, simplifies information returns filing for payers. Through the Combined Federal State Filing Program the IRS electronically forwards original returns to participating states. The participating states are listed below. What do I need to do, in order to participate in the Combined Federal State Filing Program? First, make sure that your state participates in the program. Then submit an electronic test file, to the IRS. 
please refer to Publication 1220 for the test filing deadlines. If the test file is accepted, an approval letter will be sent. For more information on the Combined Federal State Filer Program, please refer to Publication 1220, which can be found on the IRS website under Forms and Publications. For this tutorial, select Do not edit special payer information and select No for all payers under Combined Federal State Filer. The payer name control can be found on the mailing label of the 1099 package. This package is mailed from the IRS to most payers each December. If checked, the program will prompt for the name control for each selected payer. For the tutorial, do not check. To continue, click OK. This prompt will display for each payer and form that has been selected. If multiple payers and forms were selected, answer the prompt for each one. Make sure to select Skip if the payer does not have data in a particular form. Otherwise, if no data exists the process will abort. At this point, the payers and forms are being processed for any errors or warnings. If there are any errors, they must be corrected or the file will not be created. If you add other pairs to process, select Process More Pairs. This will take you back to the Select Pair screen, where you can select other pairs to include in the file. To continue, select Continue. Click OK. Now the file needs to be saved. The default location is the 1099 ETC Program Directory. The default file name is ef1099.eft. The file name and location can be changed. But, make sure to note the new information. Click Save. If there are warnings or errors, please view or print the activity output. This report will list the warnings, errors, and their record numbers, so that the issues can be corrected. VTML speed view or print the transmittal report for the file location and name which is needed when uploading. Select continue and click quit. At this point, the file is created and saved. If needed, you can view or print the IRS upload instructions for the fire system and click OK. If you are ready to upload the file, select go to the IRS fire system and click OK. When the file is uploaded, select Done and click OK. The file name and location can be copied to the clipboard. This will paste the information when browsing to the file location during the upload process. For the tutorial, select Now. This is the home page or the IRS's fire system. Remember that it is your responsibility to upload the file. Follow the IRS instructions found in Publication 1220, to upload the file. For further questions, please review the frequently asked questions on our website. Technical support can be reached by email, fax, chat or phone. Thank you for using the 1099 Etc. program. Have a great day.